Take the front right rotor, which is the counterclockwise rotor, and just check to make sure that there's a grub screw in the hole in the shaft. Okay. If it's not, take one of the small M3 by 3 millimeter grub screws that were supplied in stage 23, and then place that into the side. Okay. So, just double check, get your grub screw, and then place that in the side, like so. Just nip it up, but do not over tighten it, okay? Now, once you've done that, put that aside, take your counterclockwise rotor from stage 15, take the nut that was supplied with this stage, and as before, place that into the bottom of the rotor, pressing that down into position. Once you've done that, take the rotor, place that on top of the motor drive. Okay, and just nip that up, but do not over tighten it. Okay, and that completes this stage. Take one of the two hinges from this stage and the arm from stage 26 and just make sure that you've got the orientation of the arm as you can see there. So this part is in effect pointing upwards. And then also take the pin that came with stage 26 and place that down through the arm. Okay, and you are going to need to use a bit of force pushing that down into position okay so once you've done that force that down okay as per the instructions and then we'll come back and we'll continue with the rest once you've done that just double check make sure that you're happy that the arm is on there properly okay Next take the assembly and the orientation ball that came with this stage and as we've done before line up the two pins with the two holes on the front like so and then with two 6mm M2 screws screw that into position so that we have them exactly the same as you've got the other orientation ball that we did on a previous stage. Take the sidebar and place the two terminals for the sidebar on each end, okay? Then take the assembly, as we've done before, and feed the sidebar through the two holes at the same length as the others. Once you've done that, you then need to take two of the small grub screws and place those grub screws into the side so that it holds the sidebar into position. Now in stage 30, we're going to be preparing and fitting the anti-clockwise motor onto the front right rotor arm. Okay, so take the motor for the front right arm from this stage, okay, and what we need to do is we need to then place the shaft from the outer so that that snaps into position like so, okay. 
Once you've done that, take the small washer that you can see here, okay, take that and then just gently place that over the shaft and then with a C clip, take the C clip, placing that over the shaft and then with some small nose pliers, pop that into position. Once you've done that, take the counterclockwise rotor, place that back onto the motor and just put that aside until needed in a further future stage. In stage 31 we're going to be securing the third ESC which is the electronic speed controller to the chassis so notice how the wiring goes making sure that the three yellow cables are facing towards the center of the drone chassis and then with some double sided tape do as we've done before fit in the electronic speed controller into position like so. In stage 32 we do a manual test of the rear right rotor so take the rotor with a silver nut and place it on the motor as you can see here Okay, and then basically all you're doing is you're just testing it. Once you've done that, just take the rotor off and then store that and all the other remaining pieces carefully for future 